Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, time for Thursday morning's little session. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be able to share these beautiful biblical truths with you all. We're talking about Abraham. We're talking about in the book of Genesis, we've been looking at the subject of what it means to pass the test of God. And that's part of God's plan for us. So we all know the simple principle that before we can graduate to another level higher, we have to pass the test at the level where we are. That's the law of the jungle out there. And so we look at some of the tests and say, well, am I going to pass or fail this particular test? Well, I want to take you to a test that Abram had to pass. And in, in chapter 12, we had have God giving to Abram the incredible promise that God would give to him a child, that he would be the father of the nation. And we see this over the course of some 20 odd years, God coming back and affirming this promise to Abram, but I'm going to tell you people in a in a world where we live with the instant idea We like instant coffee. We want instant healing. We want instant answers to everything God is never in a hurry and we see this in Abram's life Abram was was in his 70s when God gave him to promise But when Isaac was actually born the son of the promise he was a hundred odd years old and during this course of time God was teaching Abram a lesson I would suggest that many of us maybe need to learn in order to graduate to the next level and we hate this test it's the test of patience and perseverance god makes a promise but what made abram so amazing and the father not just of of the jewish nation but the father of faith that even though he messed up from time to time he knew what it was to believe god for the end product he believed god for the long haul he believed God for the big match stuff. He had a great big match temperament. And he was able to see through some of the challenges that life brought to him. And we're going to talk about a few of these in the next couple of days. But at the end of the day, Abram's patience was, was rewarded. But over the course of that time, there were a couple of things that happened to Abram. You see, God gave him the promise of a child and it just didn't seem to happen. Abraham thought that within the next month or so that Sarah was going to fall pregnant and everything would be fine. And he, he doubted in a sense that God was able to, but his faith was overwhelming his doubt because he knew that God could do anything. And he came, even though he had the challenges of, of possible unbelief, Sarah was old. She was way past the age of childbirth, as was he. And he's thinking to himself, how on earth is God going to pull this off? But then he also believed and we read that his his righteousness was accredited because of his faith to be able to believe despite the evidence and despite the passage of time that lesson alone is worth learning from abraham is that this lesson that god has made a promise to us does not come always with a time fixture to it sometimes we have to wait now i know that many of you have been praying for loved ones. I know there are husbands who've been praying for their wives. There's been wives praying for their husbands. There's been parents praying for their kids that salvation would come to come to them. And they've been praying for a long time and yet still nothing seems to have happened. Well, if that's how you feel, let me tell you, man, you're in good company because Abram felt exactly the same way. He said, God, you made a promise. I know you could do it, but man, I, I wish you would just do it now. And we see Abram just passing this test over and over and over again. There were times, however, where his doubt overwhelmed him. He fell for a stupid plan that came from Sarai, where Sarai said, Abram, it's impossible. God's forgotten you. Why don't you just sleep with your handmaiden, Hagar, and she will bear you a son. And she did bear him a son, and they named him Ishmael. But Abram knew that this was not the son of the promise. Abram knew that this was just a a half-baked version of what God had prepared for him. So don't rush this. When God makes a promise, he will fulfill his promise. You can be held and he can be held to that as if you can be held into your faith. Now, this promise is so tempting for us sometimes to look for God in, in other places, to question, did we really hear right from God? Did God really say this? Did God really? And that's the Satan, that's Satan's biggest lie to you. Did God really say that? Well, I want to tell you people, if you believe that you have heard from God with regard to a particular promise that God will have made to you, 
hold on, just hold on. Despite the evidence, despite the circumstances, despite the situation that may look completely to the contrary to what God has promised you, today I plead with you to hold on. Because if that promise is from God, you must know God has never reneged on His promise. So for you who have been praying for people, been praying for loved ones, been praying for families, been praying, I don't know what it is, but if you're praying based upon a promise of God, just hold on. Because God has never reneged on a promise. Now this encourages me in light of some of the things that we've been praying for for a long time. And I do believe that God is going to come through. And this is what set Abram apart from everybody else, that despite the evidence, he still believed. And that is my prayer for you today, is that despite the evidence of the naysayers around you who say it's never going to happen, despite the presence of people who say, well, why don't you take a shortcut and here's a man-made way of doing it, don't believe them. Because if God doesn't do it, you don't want it. So think about that today, folks. And I pray along with you that your prayers will continue to be answered one day and that you will look back on this little time and say, man, it was worth the wait. It always is. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow.